Okay, everyone. Tonight I want to talk about backlash. So backlash is something that occurs where the gears don't really mesh up properly. There's a little bit of play in them. They can occur on your focuser, or if you have an automatic focuser, which I have right over here, it's probably trying to see it. It can occur in the automatic focuser as well. Usually the automatic focusers have more backlash. So in this first uh, video, all I'm gonna do is demonstrate the way ZWO recommends measuring it. And I'm gonna do some subsequent videos on other ways to measure backlash using automatic focus routines in various programs. My name is Kurt Zepatello and you're watching AstroQuest One. Okay, well, I just drew a little diagram of what backlash is, what's the mechanicals behind it. Here's two gears that they meet up, and this little space is the backlash. So it's when the gears aren't engaged, even they're 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 not touching each other. So if they move, nothing really happens. Let me show you another example of it, a physical example. Let's take this little thing, this little piece of metal, and I'm gonna, and it has a slash through it. Let's say we want to move that way and one step is like a couple centimeters. So we'll go a couple centimeters and it moves it. Another step, another couple centimeters, a third step. All right. But let's say you want to go the other direction. So we go a couple centimeters in reverse direction. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. We go a third step and finally go a fourth step. And then if we go a fifth step, then it finally moves it. So that's what that backlash is. It's where you have an opening where the gears aren't really meeting and so nothing happens. Okay, how do you measure this backlash business? Well, you can do it uh, many different ways and I'm going to do it the way ASI recommends, or ZWL recommends, and I'm going to use their ASI capture program. And what they recommend is you go out a whole lot of steps, like a couple hundred or so, and then go back in 10 step increments until you see your actual focus knob move and then that's the backlash. Because what's gonna happen is as soon as you start going backwards in the 10 step increments, your focuser, your automatic focuser is saying that it's moving backwards 10 steps, but your focus module, your actual physical focus on the telescope isn't moving until a certain point. When it starts moving, the difference between when it started and when you when the actual focus moves, that's your backlash. Now I already did this and it came out to be somewhere around 100 or something like that and I it's pretty funny. I, I looked on ASI's manual and their manual description said like 35. But uh, I, I like I said, as long as I know what it is, I can live with it. So I've got my Focuser program open, the ASI capture program. I'm going to move it ahead 100 steps or so. All right. So now I saw the focuser move. Now I'm going to go back in 10 step increments until I see the focuser move. 10, nothing. 20, no movement. 30, no movement. 40, no movement. 50, no movement, 60, no movement, 70, no movement, 80, no movement, 90, no movement, 100, I just saw it move. Okay, so I've got about 100. ASI, or I keep saying ASI, ZWO also recommends you can actually do it in five steps in acronyms to really get a good measurement on that. But uh, I'm not gonna do that now for this demonstration. I just wanted to show you what's going on here. Okay, well, that's about all for now and I will see you later.